Hi, this is Dr. Campbell, and I wanted to talk today about how teachers can help with our present race relations. Now, in a recent article, a Texas police officer has resigned from an act of perceived that was perceived to have a negative impact on race relations. Many of the values that people hold regarding how to interact with police are developed before they graduate or leave the education system. Teachers have a greater opportunity to enhance race relations by using the Recelerate Racism formula. Now, according to the article, a Texas police officer was caught on videotape wrestling a 14-year-old black female to the ground at a pool party. The former police officer Eric Casebo was responding to reports of a disturbance at a community pool in McKinney, Texas. Some of the witnesses to the incident recall that some of the white adults at the pool made racist comments. And what they said was they told the black teenagers to get accustomed to jail and to return to their Section 8 housing. Now, by the way, this is in a neighborhood where the average house is almost a half a million dollars. The racist comments led to a confrontation at the pool. Tayan Rhodes, who was one of the hosts for the party, was struck by an older white woman who made some of the racist comments. This led to a physical struggle between the 19-year-old black woman and the white woman. Now, what strategy can teachers use to help with race relations. Many black students can develop a disdain for police officers due to the relationships that they develop with teachers in schools. In the classroom, the teacher is the ultimate power. Teachers have the power to delve out or recommend discipline for students at will. Police are empowered with the same authority. If students believe that the power of a teacher is misguided, they may be inclined to believe that the power of a police officer is misguided too. In order for teachers to ensure that their classroom power is not misguided, they can utilize the Recelerate Racism formula and help with future race relations. Now the Re Recelerate Racism formula and the Recelerate Racism Scale are direct products of the Recelerate Phenomenon. The Recelerate Phenomenon has roots in Newton's Third Law of Motion. Newton's Third Law of Motion states that when one body exerts a force on a second body, the second body simultaneously exerts a force equal in magnitude and opposite in direction on the first body. In elementary terms, Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The Recelerate phenomenon follows the same principles as Newton's third law of motion in that whenever there is a perceived infringement by a black male against a white female, there is a negative overreaction portrayed in the media. Specifically, the Recelerate Phenomenon states that for every action that a black male takes against a white female, there is an elevated negative reaction towards black men. The Recelerate Phenomenon is the cause for many of the racial tensions between blacks and whites. Now let's talk about the Recelerate Formula. Now there's a version for schools and there's a version for teachers. Now, the version for schools is you take the number of school of students suspended and you divide it by the total number of stu students and you take that sum or that quantity and you find the natural log and you can use a calculator to find a natural log and then you add 5.4. And if you come up with from a, if you come up with a number from 0 to 1, no racism. 1 to 2, slight racism. 2 to 3, moderate racism. Four, 3 to 4, high racism. 4 to 10, extreme racism. Now the teacher version follows the same process, but you take the number of students that you have referred for discipline, 
you divide it by the total number of students, you take that quantity, you find the natural log, and then you add 5.4 or 5 and 4 tenths. And it's the same scale for the school. 0 to 1, no racism. 1 to 2, slight racism. 2 to 3, moderate racism. racism. 3 to 4, high racism. 4 to 10, extreme racism. Now, as I close, I want you to know that teachers can help with race relations by ensuring that classroom discipline becomes a tool for, for developing trust rather than a tool for enhancing confrontation. This is Dr. Campbell. You can read about more of these type of recommendations on my website, www.positiveracialrelationships.com. If you want to talk about it, you can call me on my direct line, 856-566. 3267. Have a great day and thank you very much.